Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Snippets. Today, I want to quickly show you how you can cache, customize, or handle exceptions in one place in your Laravel application. This applies to those common exceptions like 404 exception, authorization exception, um, validation, and all that. Now, before we get started, I want to quickly mention that this project assumes that you already know the basics of Laravel, right? That is how you can follow along and understand what is going on. With that said, what I have on the screen is a Laravel project, a new Laravel 8 project already set up, right? If I go to the browser, that is the Laravel project there and in the api.php route file i have one endpoint for creating a new user so have user controller make sure to import that at the top it means that if i go to user controller there is a method called store which is the method for creating a new user if i go ahead to call this endpoint on postman click send I get this response. Just ignore that response. It's not important. Okay. What if I call an endpoint that does not exist? Let's say just add some random stuff there. We get this long, unfriendly JSON response, right? Our goal is to customize this, right? Return a message that is simple and that makes sense somehow that is one that is for 404 secondly if i go to to the controller to the method store let me just throw in some um authorization exception there is no authorization class for user model so this will just throw unauthorized exception i will go back to postman and call the endpoint I will get another boring long message like that. That is another case we want to customize. And one more, you can see that the store method is making use of request class called create user request. I will go ahead and open that file. Currently, I'm just returning through here to allow um, access to that method. And here, I want to just throw in some validation exception by adding this validation field here. And on Postman, I will not add the field. I'll go ahead to make the request. So this time I get the typical validation response, error response. The given data was invalid. What if we want to maybe change the message or attach more field to the JSON response right so let's see how we can quickly do that it is actually straightforward what you have to do is go to app the app folder go to exceptions and handler class inside the handler class we scroll down let's scroll down a bit so inside the register method there is this report table here that is not what we are interested in instead we are interested in what is called renderable let me uncomment one of these i've already added this code so when you create a new laravel project you are not going to see these ones commented out i just added those by myself so what is going on here is that i am caching all 404 exception customize the response so I can return the JSON structure that I want and finally return that to the client, right? Remember that before now, our 404 response looks like this. Let me show you one more time. So put something that doesn't exist, send, you can see our 404 response. But with this 
simple customization here i am returning json response of my choice you can return anything you want right so this is just what i want to return and this is equivalent to just passing 404 here so i'm just using this um, constant from symphony but you can just put an integer there if i go ahead and call the same endpoint again you notice that now we have a different message based on what i returned right this to me is simpler to work with for the client the front end person whoever that is calling that endpoint that is one now i will go back to calling the right endpoint send then for validation exception now it is saying the given data was invalid but we just want to return a JSON response of our choice also including the error messages right if I go ahead and call the same endpoint uh, let me minimize this okay so you can see that this is now returning the structure we passed in our response here right similar to what we have above this is the same thing as 422 that is the status code unprocessable entity and the same thing applies to authorization access denied so if i go ahead um if i go ahead to pass let me enter the required field here name uh, is, uh, why not and click send so we get this boring message again this time it is for authorization right remember that i just threw in some authorization um, exception here if i go to handler i have to comment out this that i added so here i am customizing all access denied exception which is that response i was getting there and call the endpoint again you can see now i have something easier to work with so these these three are just some of the exceptions you can customize in the handler class and of course always make sure to import the right um, class for the exception classes what you can return is up to you so these are just my choice you can decide to return anything for example i can just return only the message here so whatever you choose to return is up to you right the goal here is to know that you can come to the handler class cache any exception and customize the response okay guys so that will be all for this lesson i hope this makes sense to you please click the subscribe button and like this video thank you